Around the world, there are some true natural phenomena where big groups of animals come together. Think of the Great Migration in the Serengeti, or the Salmon Run in Alaska, or maybe even the Monarch Butterfly Migration in Mexico. Well, in Durban, South Africa, where I was born, you have the seasonal arrival of the sardines, called the Sardine Run, an event I know is awaited by fishermen each year. But unlike the sardine run in Durban, here in Mobile, the Philippines, you have a sardine run 365 days a year. Millions of sardines grouped into schools, just a stone throw away from the shore. Hey guys, and welcome from beautiful Maobal. Ever since I found out that in this area you have the sardine run, I was like, wow, man, that is going on my itinerary for the Philippines because it looks absolutely amazing. I also love being in the ocean and since I've been learning how to free dive here a little bit, um, I'm really excited to get into the water and actually go swim with the sardines. So I'm going to go head down to the beach now to see if I can find a snorkel to rent so we can actually get in the ocean. I heard it shouldn't be too difficult to find the sardines, but uh, let's go find out for ourselves. From what I've heard, it's pretty easy to actually uh, find the sardines. They're supposed to be uh, straight opposite of Padnak Summer Beach. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the beach try and find a snorkel. There are lots of tours offering uh, the sardines, but uh, apparently you can go and find them pretty easily yourself. So that is what we're doing today. So I've arrived at the shop and uh, basically I saw that she has uh, the snorkels and the fins uh, for rent. And then I was like, well, do you know anybody who could maybe go into the water with me, you know, and actually uh, do the snorkeling with me so that they can film me? Because obviously when I'm traveling, uh, I can't always film the scenes nicely uh, with just myself. So it's going to be 100 for the fins, 100 for the snorkel, and then 400 for somebody to go in the water with me, which for me is really nice considering that, you know, uh, actually getting a tour would cost a lot more than that. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. I want you to try with this one. Okay. And these okay and this one okay perfect so i need to put the foot in and just see if it uh, if the foot slips out right yeah okay these are definitely too small i think oh. these are better because this one the feet the toes come out yeah. here this one it's better yep these fit this is my uh, guide for today this is jimmy yes hello my name is jimmy i'm a tour guide here in the mual community shelter I'm really excited because he's going to take me into the water and hopefully make some good videos. <laughs> yeah, so the sardines run here is basically millions and millions of sardines and they are actually with so many that they black out the sunlight. So I'm really excited to go down. Wow, okay, so we've spotted the first turtle, like literally right here on the beach. So lovely. And it's like they're so calm so it doesn't seem too faced with us right here just keep a distance of it and uh, watch it safely Sardines. Oh, we are literally here with millions and millions. What type of animals yeah. feed on this? The thresher shark. The thresher shark. Also, sometimes come here in the sardines and eat them. To eat them. Yeah. If you guys don't know what the thresher shark is, this is a shark with a beautiful long tail. It is absolutely incredible. Oh man, this is so cool. Have all 
the bubbles coming up from the scuba divers that are down there. They're also enjoying themselves, but from below. Wow, man, seeing all those little faces look at you is quite intimidating. <laughs> scuba diving, so it's snorkeling from the surface. You've got a lot of people out here enjoying this. And to be honest, it's like it's right over there on the beach. So I mean, I got a guide just so that you know I have somebody to go with and uh, be able to get some videos and stuff like that, which is very nice. And I think it's very not a bad price, really. Um, but you could, if you like, with friends or something, come and do this yourself because it's it's right on the beach. like this like I think what that is is so that they seem bigger I think that is a theory behind why they stay in such big groups but it is just insane that these animals are so in sync with each other and they swim together in like the millions can you imagine humans doing something like that um anyways yeah so there are definitely some uh, predators here that eat them so like the thrushes and the tunas and the guys fishing here for barracuda with the visibility we had earlier because now you see almost nothing even though there is a turtle but now it's a bit crowded as well thank you <laughs> snorkel and fins have been returned for now i think i'm gonna go for lunch at first and then oops <laughs> and then i'll decide if i uh, go back into the water or not my hair has gone into a crazy woman again, man. My hair is going to die here because of the snorkel mask. Anyways, I'm going to go try find something for lunch because I'm quite hungry. And uh, yeah, I could do with a little recharge after swimming so hard against the current. I made it to my little lunch spot and basically what I got is like a roasted um, aubergine, like eggplant uh, dip, which I hope has a lot of garlic. And then some little pita breads, which is lovely. So I just want to do mention that um, I had asked a friend prior to actually booking this uh, this guide and the fins and stuff, uh, if uh, they knew if anybody, you know, would be willing to go in the water with me and, you know, make videos. She was like, okay, yeah, it shouldn't cost you more than 100 to get a guide. <laughs> but I only read the message afterwards. So I don't know if I paid the right price or if she just found somebody who was really, really cheap. Uh, but all in all, like, I don't mind. I paid 100 for the fins, I paid 100 for the snorkel and then 400 for the guide. And we went in the water for super, super long, but I saw what I wanted to see. I enjoyed what I wanted to enjoy. And I really enjoyed having Jimmy's uh, company around. So Jimmy, shout out to you. But um, yeah, probably just ask around before you go into the first best shop to uh, get all your stuff before going in. Conditioner, yeah. To make my hair nice again. <laughs> Damage control, that is what we need. <laughs> so my hair is getting like so terrible from the ocean and the snorkel mask so we're gonna get some conditioner usually i prefer to go for the more natural of products so for example i also use uh, shampoo bars and soaps which are natural uh, but right now i don't really have that much choice i just need to do with what i can find and literally anything that is going to make my hair a little bit more healthy than uh, what is it, the ocean is doing to it would be great <laughs> because my hair is so dry and literally breaking off also it's like very very tangled so i'm glad to have gotten something hi how are you <laughs> well, while we are walking back to my place, I might as well get some stuff, I think. It looks so nice. Okay, so it's 35 for a little bracelet. I think I'll get two of those. I like the little shells. Probably go for black. I always go for black. <laughs> and then I'm going to get this. Look how cute that is. And this one. Oh, we don't have any of one dog, but we have... Oh, she's very old, huh? How old is old. she? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah. Is she friendly? Yeah. yeah. She's friendly? Hi, puppy. <laughs> Hi. Are you okay? Hi, sweetie. Oh. You're so old. Well, I don't really go shopping that much because obviously I don't have that much space in my luggage to carry everything. 
So it's really nice to treat myself to like a little bracelet, a little necklace and stuff like that. I'm really excited to wear it and, you know, make myself look chill and nice. <laughs> I've got to say, that was such a good day. Going out into the water, seeing all the sardines, seeing the beautiful turtle. It is definitely worth the effort if you're going to Mobile. I know this is one of the famous things that you can go and do. And I definitely think that you do not need to go on an expensive tour to go and do this. It is literally right off of the beach. You walk into the water and there you are. Even in the case, if you are not alone, you're with multiple people, you don't even have to get a guide, you know, if somebody can hold the GoPro and, and go around with you. So um, it is really easy to do yourself. And uh, it was such a great morning out in the water. Just keep in mind that these are animals, uh, especially when it comes to the turtles. So don't huddle around them, don't touch them, don't chase them, don't feed them. Just let them be, enjoy them. And um, yeah, if they're comfortable, you stay comfortable. Nobody is getting harmed. But just be mindful of that when you do get in the water. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video again. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.